What's up guys, it's me AJ, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be trying out the Dove Amplify Textures, so let's get right into this video. So I already tried the shampoo, which looks like this, and I already tried the conditioner. And the shampoo, it felt more like it was stripping my hair, um, but it wasn't a bad shampoo. The conditioner was very very good it made my hair feel really soft so I really love that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Dove leave-in conditioner which looks like this there we go so let's just take my hair down and hopefully the ring light won't be too much in my glasses I look weird right now. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we are going to go ahead and part my hair in half. Just to make it a little bit easier. So we're just going to section off some hair. Doesn't have to be neat. This is just to help with the detangling process. Okay. So I got my front two sections. And let me know if you guys tried it out. Because I want to know what you guys think of these products. So I guess we'll start with the back. I don't have another hair tie. So we're just going to have to part it and try to put it into one of the other ponytails. Okay, so we're going to work with this section over here. We are going to use my spray bottle, which just has water in it, and we're going to spray this section because it's starting to get a little dry just because I have a fan right here. So we're going to spray it just to get some more water back in, and we are going to use the leave-in conditioner. That just flew like right across my room okay so this is what it looks like I'm just gonna put it through my hair it feels very soft it smells really good it smells like perfume I'm not sure what type of perfume but it smells really good I wouldn't say it's like flowery Flowery? Is that a word? I don't know. Okay. And then we're just going to twist that up for right now. Hopefully that stays. And we're just going to add the rest to this little section right here. It really does feel really good and my hair is just sliding right through which is amazing because that doesn't always happen when I try to do my hair so now we're going to work on the section up here and I'm just gonna put this tie on just to make sure it doesn't unravel while I'm working on this section so we're gonna do the same thing that we did we're going to add water. To make sure it's wet. And now we're going to add some more conditioner. It really does smell really good. I know I keep saying that, but it really does smell good. Okay, then we're going to twist that section off. My twisting right now is not the best because, as you can see, I have this short hair right here, and that's from when I had cut my hair 
about it's been a while the last time I cut it was in December for Christmas so I'm just gonna squeeze up so now we got this side done hold on this is unraveling and now we are going to work on the other side but let's use this band to keep them together okay and I look crazy but that's okay so now we're going to work on the back section over here we're going to use the water bottle once again and we're going to use the leave-in conditioner once again. And I really, really like how I can just run my fingers through it. Like, I don't even have to use my brush, which is amazing. And this way in half, and now we're going to work on the last section, which is the front. Okay, now let's do the last section. Okay, so last section, water, and conditioner. And I'm just using about this much. And now we're going to twist. I'm going to twist the bottom. Okay, so now that we have, oh, my glasses are falling off. Now that we have done all of our deep conditioning, I mean our leave-in conditioner, now we are going to be using the Dove Amplified Twist in Moisture Shaping Buttercream, which looks like this. And I'm also going to be pairing that with the Dove Amplified Finishing Gel. So we're going to first work on uh, the back section. We're going to be going for just a simple wash and go type of thing. So I'm just going to part my hair from that one section. And let's see what the buttercream looks like. So this is what the buttercream looks like. Y'all, I am just dropping products all over the place. So it's very good. Looks very good. Alright, so we're just going to take some. Not that much. And we're going to put it in our hair. Wow, you guys, this feels 
really, really good. Like, it feels amazing. I don't know if you guys can see my curls because I'm wearing a black shirt, but look at this. See that curl right there? Y'all see that? That looks amazing. And it just feels really, really soft, you guys. It looks amazing. And it feels amazing. really really good okay now we're gonna try the gel with it I think the gel has like the top or something on it okay let's try it this is how the gel comes out smells just like the shampoo for my short hair I usually just try to coil it just because it's very short so it's still growing out and it will end up looking weird if I don't coil it because it's not really going to blend in with the rest of my hair at the moment okay so let's finish on that section. So we're going to add some more buttercream. Now it said you can use this for twist outs or even wash and goes. I'm going to do a wash and go for today. Normally I would use a brush to do wash and goes, but I decided today to try to just use my fingers today. Okay, and now we're going to use the gel once more. Like you guys, I wish y'all could feel this because it is so soft, you guys. It's amazing, like I really, really like it. So we finished that section, so now we're going to work on this section over here. But before I do, let me try to get close so I can show you guys what it's looking like so far, just in case you guys can't see it. So this is what my curls are looking like right now. They look amazing. Like, I just really, really, and they feel soft, which is good. Okay. We get back here okay so now we're gonna try it on this side we're gonna first start with the short hair right here because I feel like it will make it go a lot easier okay so we're just gonna work right here real quick some buttercream on it And I forgot to tell you guys, I already put um, oil in my hair. I used olive oil to put in my hair. I always do that after I wash my hair and I do a leave-in conditioner. I put olive oil in my hair. So that's why I'm not putting oil in right now. Okay, so now we're going to do the gel. And I'm noticing that with this gel, you don't have to use as much. Like, usually I end up having to use a lot of gel to be able to get my curls tamed and defined. But with this, it doesn't seem like I have to use too much to do that. Okay, so now we're going to work with the back section right here. Add the buttercream. And my hair is just gliding through, y'all. Gliding through. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. Okay, 
Okay, and now we're going to add the gel. This is making my whole room smell like really good. Okay. So we already, f we just finished the back section. So now we are going to work on the front section. So we'll start with this first and then we'll move on to the top. I learned that because when I cut my hair, um, cause I had shaved my sides. So I learned that it's a little bit easier for me to do my shaved sides first or my short sides first. Cause it takes just a little bit more work to get them defined. And so now we're going to use the gel. I'm hoping that this gel is not going to be crunchy once it dries because a lot of gels that I use, they end up becoming crunchy. And I don't really like it when my hair is crunchy. I don't know if that's just me or if that's like a lot of naturals because I have some friends that they say they don't mind the crunch, but for me, I don't like my hair being stiff. Like, I don't want my hair to feel like that. I know my hair is a little white right now, but it'll go away once my hair dries. My hair does that with a lot of products. Okay. And now we're going to add the gel. I feel like the gel is a great addition to the buttercream. Um, I feel like it just makes it so much better. So this is how this side is looking right now. It's looking white, it will go away. So I'm not too worried about that. So let's finish it. See how my hair looks when, it's when it starts to dry? That versus this. So I need to wet it a little bit more because my top of my hair is starting to get really dry. So, we add the buttercream. Okay. And now we're going to add the gel. So, while I'm doing my hair, how is everybody's quarantine? I feel like mine has been boring but busy. Because I'm in a math class right now. And that class goes Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. I think it's looking really nice right now. But yeah, so my classes are Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and I'm not really, I keep forgetting I have to do this, I'm not really happy that there's so many days of math, because I just, I really don't like math, but I do have some friends that do like math, so we're going to spray this a little bit, just more, because it started started getting dry but I really don't like math and I don't know if that I know that's not just me I know there's a lot of people that don't like math 
Um, but like, I'm going into a field where I shouldn't have to know how to do trigonometry and stuff like that. It's just, it annoys me. Or like calculus. I wish that people would only have us take maps that we're going to actually need because I feel like a lot of classes that we take in college are sorry I have the hiccups um, some of the classes that we take in college are just not worth it or it has nothing to really do with the field that we're going into Okay, so we're gonna work this section. We're almost done, you guys. Almost done. And y'all, okay. I know this is off topic, but yesterday I was just watching YouTube and I got a notification and my husband, uh, he's a celebrity, that's why I said husband, um, he had just posted his new album and I was so happy y'all, like because he hasn't posted like songs in a while and he hasn't posted an album in a really long time uh his name is august alcina and i was so happy y'all i was like oh my gosh he posted it it was like 12 o'clock at night when he posted it and part of me was like you know i'll just go to sleep i won't worry about it but i was just like but then i was like no i gotta listen to it so i, wa I listened to it and his songs are amazing. I was like, can he make a tour, please? Like, can coronavirus be over? Cause, but he just had so many songs that were so good. And you guys should check it out. Um, I'll try to leave my playlist either up here or I'll leave it in the description box. Um, but his music is really good, y'all. I think my favorite one uh, that he had did would probably be, uh, what, is this, what is it called, Ready. Because he posted it like, I think it was like two years ago, he posted on Valentine's Day. And he only did like a snippet of it. So it wasn't like the whole thing, it was just like a little bit of it. And so I was like, when is he going to come out with the rest of it? Like, can you hurry up and come out? Like, I was, I was just, I was like, he needs to hurry up. And so, when I was listening to the album, because I was, I was listening to it on Pandora, and I was like, wait, is this the song that he posted? And it was, and I was so, so happy. But I think he has 25.
my hair is about 90% dry um, there is a little bit of white residue on it but that probably was just because I could have just used too much of it um, but my hair is really soft smells great um, and overall I just think that this line is actually really really nice they did a really good job on it the packaging looks beautiful um, it smells great and it does wonders for my curls so I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video so don't forget to like comment and subscribe don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Ayana Anise and I will see you guys in the next video